Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are that you are doing well. With there being so many disabilities in the world and the world, I won't list them all here because there are too many for this video. You probably are wondering what DLB is. In this video, I will talk about what DLD is and why I've taken it on board to spread awareness of this disorder. So let us get into this video right away. DLD's full title is Developmental Language Disorder. It is a disorder that affects the development of speech and the language parts of the brain. It is uh, more common than autism, and yet it is isn't being discussed. Latest studies show that uh, two percent, almost two percent of children have autism, while more than three times as many, about 7%, have DLD. Unfortunately, the disorder tends to run in families, which doesn't mean that the parents and or guardians have done anything wrong. It is, is it just because there is a genetic trait running through their families. It is more common in boys than girls, as there are around 2.5 2 to 3 boys for every one girl. It is uh, quite, in, quite possible that it approximately 60% of late talkers will catch up by the age of 5. But unfortunately, about 40% can continue to have from the below average language skills throughout their lives. When a baby is in its mother's room, that is when all of the growth starts. From the common embryo to the formed baby, with you, it comes out, comes to, when it comes to the world. This is when a few mechanical things can go wrong. For example, it has a stroke. This is when DLD is formed. I'm trying, I'm trying to say here that uh, it isn't precisely known how developmental language disorder is caused, but professionals think that a stroke within the brain causes it. I had a deep brain scan and they have picked up the, the damage on the language part of the brain. This is where people you usually get it wrong. When I mention that I have DLD, People typically say, Oh, you have a face here. To which I'll reply with, No. But, uh, 9 out of 10 times, they didn't listen and insist it's called a face here. Honestly, they are not the best thing. Back in the fifties, developmental aphasia was used to, to describe children who had a particular 
the parkour is an inspiration, and the music is language. This time is now no longer used, as it is, as it was misleading to the adult appraiser, which is supposed by a brain angel, which the adult is not. Widespread awareness of you about any topic. It is to educate people who don't know anything about the subject. This is why I do. Many people in the mainstream world have never heard of DLD. As I have previously mentioned, it is a very common disorder, yet it is not being discussed at the moment. I am hoping that through my videos, I can get to the stage where the videos are being used on other websites, and the people in the mainstream world will hear the letters DLD or Developmental Language Disorder and say, Yes, I know what that means. I have a book out here which is also to spread, pretend to spread awareness. And even my charity, a basic that doesn't refer to it. So I hope that all of this happens in the near future. Throughout the ages, the main cell of the LP has gone through some changes. First, it started out as the developmental database, as you've just found out. Then, for a long time, it was either called SLCN, SLI, or Dysphasia, hence the channel name. Finally, in 2017, a consortium on a panel of experts called Catalyst Consortium endorsed the very term Developmental Language Disorder. DLD, which was when the term was born, and now it's currently is the favorite. Throughout the years that I have been doing this, there has always been research in looking at the DLD. However, since the Catalyst Consultant endorsed the vet name, there has been a lot more research up to the point of the endorsement. Since and since. Why is this? This is a part of the understanding that people want to, to get across to the mainstream world. Plus, uh, help our professionals and parents. Any research that is done about any disorder of any description, disability, or disease is helpful as people in the future will understand from what is, is it is meant and can look back at what has been written up. The person that, that is leading the change, the charge for the research is a PhD doctor called Dorothy Fisher, and she's a teacher in my book, Finding Her Boys. Thank you. 
If you like him, like the pet show, please see him by four means. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, and also don't forget to tell people about the videos. If they are wondering if they have a child who is late in speaking, never know, it could help. In the next week's video, I will discuss how to, you can get diagnosed and get help with the DLD. So why not you join me here? And for that, and then, but in the meantime, why don't you look at one of these videos on the screen now? Peace out.